This video is brought to you by Alienware. Start gaming. Today we're taking a look at an absolute monster Alienware Threadripper gaming PC. This is a sponsored video for Alienware and they sent me over an Area 51 PC complete with monitor and new peripherals to play around with. As you can see here it looks nuts and the specs are insane. The case is very huge, very unique and very heavy. So the main focus of this video is supposed to be what is a Threadripper processor and what can you do with it? If you've been keeping up with the latest processor news, AMD recently released the 1950X, also known as the Threadripper CPU. It's a 16 core, yes 16 core processor with 32 threads in total. So the multitasking and rendering potential is huge and it's just really nice to see AMD processors back in competition with Intel as Intel have had the prime real estate in the processor market for many years now. Before we get into the multitasking demo that I set up, let's take a quick look at the monitor and peripherals here. The monitor here is called the Alienware 25 and it impressed me the most as it's a 240Hz native refresh rate. Upgrading to a high frequency monitor is huge if you've been on 60Hz for all of your life. Playing CSGO on this is incredibly smooth. And then the mouse and keyboard, I did cover these in my previous video. The keyboard is the Mechanical Pro Gaming keyboard and that's got fully customizable lighting and macro keys. As you can see in this clip, there's plenty of lighting presets and options. You can customize the colors however you please. The rainbow effect is clearly the best one though, so I'd go with that one if you want to look balling out of control. Back to the PC then, what's inside? Well, the main attraction of the system is the Threadripper processor, of course. It's clocked at 3.6 gigahertz in this system. I haven't tried to overclock it yet, but I will in the future to squeeze a bit more performance out of it. Typically, you can get four gigahertz out of Threadripper CPUs on liquid cooling, and that is called in this system by a custom Alienware liquid cooling unit, an all-in-one type of system with a radiator. As for graphics, well, it doesn't compromise. We've got two GTX 1080 graphics cards in here working in SLI. This is more than capable for 4K gaming. 1440p though I think would be the sweet spot at the moment because if you want really good frames and good graphics details, 1440p will give you that. The memory in this system is 32 gigs of DDR4 clocked at 2,666 megahertz. It's a ridiculous amount of RAM and it handles video editing flawlessly. Threadripper systems really enjoy that high speed memory. A couple of hard drives, a 250 gig PCIe SSD for the boot drive. Those things are very quick, so I would definitely recommend picking one up if you're looking to upgrade your Windows loading speeds and general browsing. And of course, we've got a big two terabyte hard drive in here for any extra storage. That's the main specs covered really. The case has got this very interesting slanted design to it and that allows the hot air inside to move diagonally away and out of the case. It's also very easy to get inside of it too. There's just a latch at the top to access if you wanna add more RAM or swap the graphics cards out in the future. There's plenty of lighting effects for the case too and you can sync them all up together with your peripherals and monitor if you choose so. I like to have them all a bit different though. Right then, let's take a look at some test results and check out a multitasking demo that I put together. In 3D Mark DX12 Times by, this system scored 11,293, making it faster than 97% of all results in the database. I think with a bit of an overclock as well, you can probably get it a bit higher. As for multitasking, well, I thought that I could have done it nice and simple and have been like, hey, look, you can play games and stream at the same time with OBS and not have any performance hit on your game. But I think everyone knows that now and it's kind of boring. So how about this instead? So bear in mind that this is all running at the same time. There's no tricks here. We're starting off with Battlefield 1 on max settings with 200% resolution scaling at 1080p, romping your way through single player. You're having an absolute great time and then you think to yourself, hmm, maybe I should be recording this. What if something cool happens? Okay, no problem. Recording. Right now, a 1080p 60fps video file of the gameplay with OBS. You could be streaming at the same time as well, but wait, I need to render that 3D scene for my university work. Damn, I forgot about that. The lecturer is gonna go mad at me. Doesn't matter, boom, there it is. Happily chugging along and rendering. Temperatures and load on the cores there are looking good too. But wait, I'm bored of BF1 now. I'm sick of it. Tab out, Shazam, Rainbow Six Siege. You're in straight away. 
Time to kill some terrorists, blow walls open, and save a few hostages maybe. You're sick of work now though. You've played too many games, everyone deserves a break, and maybe you fancy some light entertainment. Well, actually, the new Stranger Things series is out, and you know what? It's playing right now on your browser. Look at that, spooky stuff going on. Okay, how about some video editing? No problem, Sony Vegas 15 there, ready to go with a 4K video file loaded in, playing Fortnite. Icing on the cake though, I wasn't sure if this was going to load, it looked like it might have crashed. Minecraft, there it is. Now you can whack pigs and build to your heart's content. Now obviously this is a mad extreme example that I've just made up and in practice no one's gonna need to do all that stuff at once but I hope that it proves a point that we've got to a really cool place nowadays where consumer PCs and CPUs are that good that you can do all of this stuff at the same time and I think that's really awesome. It's great for productivity and smooth sailing gaming, very impressive indeed. And that's about all for today's video guys. I want to thank you for watching and I hope you found this interesting. Also thanks to Alienware for sponsoring this video again and sending this crazy PC system over to me. If you're interested in finding out more about the Area 51 or any of the other products featured in this video, they'll all be linked down in the description below. As always, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, a thumbs down if you didn't. Subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one.